Got into the finals, put off the contract talks, bagged a lazy six, backed it up again, and all of a sudden the five-year deals landed on the table. Signed us this afternoon. Well done to you, Travis Clark. Thanks, guys. The four years was on the table with a fifth-year conditional. You can tell us now that you signed whether that was right or wrong. We're interested to know because it was a long, drawn-out uh, situation. What changed? What has changed over the past couple of weeks? Oh, a couple of things here. As of uh, probably around midday today, I gave Bucks and Walsh a call and said, we're all done, mate. Let's look forward to the next five years. And um, it's a pretty exciting time for myself, my family, and also the Climate Football Club. We're... Um, we finished up in a pretty sour on the weekend, but hopefully the future looks good for Tottenham. How close did you go to leaving? Yes. Honestly. Did you have any serious offers? There, there were serious offers. Um, from no, they were quite enticing. Um, from from other clubs, obviously. But um, no, I'll let that be. And um, they've been talked about. But um, there, were, there were some serious offers put out there, yes. But um, um, it was more in my favour to say the football up. club, hoping to have more success as a colonial footballer. Yeah, don't worry about the uh, audience, that's just a, you wear that as I said as a badge. Now, the, but the five years, you rang today and said five years, happy to do it. Now that was, you, know, you stuck thick the whole way through the year despite, you know, growing pressure, mounting pressure. So, was the five, when did you get a five year offer from Collingwood? Um, we, we, we had talks just before the finals. Um, we sat down with my management um, and also the big guys at the club and um, we spoke about it. Uh, the fifth year was discussed then. Um, Is and it conditional, the fifth year? No, we'll, we'll let that one be, but um, yes. no, I'm more than happy with what, what we've come with, um, and I'm sure the club is as well. So uh, both parties are very happy today and uh, looking forward to the future. Your old coach, Mick Mouldhouse, has taken over at Carlton and then immediately said he wanted you. Did you hear from him, and did you receive an offer from Carlton? Um, I didn't hear personally from Mick, no. Um, I might have already contacted anyone in my party, but um, no, it's, it's, it's great for Carlton. They picked up a great coach, and um, there was an offer from Carlton, yes. But, um, yeah, I put that on the, on the back burner and stepped forward to Collingwood. To this day... Yeah. Yeah. To this day, Gary, I don't think Mick Mulcouse has spoken to Carlton yet, has he? No, that was... Uh, you might say that. Yeah, I said he hasn't yeah. spoken to him at all. Uh, so, how many... Uh, you must have had... Uh, would you be interested in going one stage, the Dockers were big, and then Geelong, everyone seemed to be rounding up, or we, in the end, we just playing poker? No, I don't like flying, so um, that was obviously a, a bit of an out moving into state. But um, there was a, a, a quite a nice offer to move elsewhere, uh, substantial money. But um, no, I chose to stay where I am. I've got great mates, great people at the football club, yeah, yeah. and get along extremely well with Nathan Butler. <laughs> <so. laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well done. I think in the end, oh, we all think that you've done the right thing, and only you can decide that. So well done, and well done to the Collingwood Footy Club. Yeah, you can do it. Thanks, Clark. Thanks, five years.